Yo, 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 what's going on guys, it's Cheese and Trees here, and welcome to my next Ask a Video on the channel. In this video, my village gets attacked a couple of different times, and my villagers and I have to defend it from getting ruined. Make sure you guys slap that like button if you like the video, and let me know in the comment section below what games you want to see on the channel in the future. Thank you guys for watching, and enjoy the video. Alright, let's see if there's any bows in here. Simple bow. Put the flimsy short bow in there. Grab some arrows. Alrighty. I want to get some food in me, and then I want to get my combat up. Take some meat stew. One of my villagers is suffering still. Is that Finn? We got some hungry villagers for sure. And I just took some food. Well, I'm a hungry villager as well, so I'm going to eat this. I want to get my archery up. This is what I want to do. Does it actually level me up? I'm sure it does, right? There we go. Level four. There we go, level five now. All right, I'm gonna grab my arrows real quick. Oh, that's Finn. I was gonna give him this food. Oh, he already ate. Well, you can have the food anyway. The rope in there. I don't have any homeless people, do I? Alright, no one's homeless. That's good. I do need two more beds in this one. There we go. Alright, I'm just gonna keep working on my archery. Oh my gosh. A bear's attacking... Well, I think I started working on my combat a little too late. I got up to six, though. Finn? No! Where is Finn? I don't even know where he is. Oh my gosh, Finn is so dead. Oh, there he is. Run, Finn! Where is he? There he is. Oh, dodged him. Go away! Oh! Go away, bear! Whoop! Oh, he got me. Someone's helping me. I don't want him to die, though. Hey! Go quit getting my hunter's hut. No! Get him, Halvar! Get him, Halvar! You're gonna be okay! I might have to go in with my club. No! Run, Halvar! Oh my gosh! I got him, Halvar, don't worry. You're good. Oh my gosh, that was so close. We got him, though! Let's go! Yeah, getting my skinning up like crazy. There we go. So many hunks. Let's go. We're going to put someone on the healer's hut so we can start healing people. We'll put Thurid on the healing hut. I'm going to heal myself. If anyone else wants to come over and heal too, that'll be cool. Dude, that was so awesome that we killed that bear though. That was so clutch. Let's go. All right, back to practicing. Level 10. Let's go. Level 12 archery and 18 days survived. Fourteen. Alright, my bow's pretty damaged, so I'm just gonna pick up all these arrows. Whoops. And then I'm probably going to start gathering food and finding good places to gather food because uh, I'm going to want some vegetables, not just meat for the winter. I do have a bunch of meat over there on the hunter's hut. That's really good. We're going to need that. Dang, look at all that. Two more hunks right there. I'm going to put a gathering marker right here. This seems like a good spot. Food foraging marker. 
All right. Build this. There we go. Might as well get this Jotun blood while I'm here. Okay. Only got two from that. Get some mo. Alrighty. Only two from that one as well. Oh, a couple more rocks. Might as well get them. Two mo. Okay. Get all this stuff by the wolf place that my uh, gatherers don't want to go to. Because the wolves will scare them off. Get out of here, wolf. Oh, shoot, I'm out of stamina. Oh, he's stunned, though. There we go. Oh, come on. I thought he was dead. There we go. I got a wolf, wolf, wolf. All right. Go away. I'm right by a wolf uh, den, so they're all going to start coming after me. All right. I was out longer than I wanted to be, but I'm back with food and Jotun blood. Put the veggies in the veggie basket of the cooking house. There we go. I think we start finishing these fences and maybe lay down one more cottage. Because we'll probably need at least one more cottage, maybe two for our village. I think that's a good spot. We might possibly be able to get two cottages down before winter time. That would be very nice. Let's put another one down. We have a bunch of builders, so I think that's very doable. There we go. Then we'll go to our eye over here. Put some Jotun blood in there. We'll go with Amelia. Four of my villagers are unhappy. And still 41% of my structures are defenseless. Might have to go put some patrol markers over here or something. Maybe the healing hut's defenseless. What else would be defenseless? Oh, maybe these guys over here. And then these guys. Okay. I'll put a patrol marker. Maybe down here, just in case I end up expanding and building more structures out here. Patrol marker. Okay, they'll build that. Put a patrol marker right here. And they'll build that. All right, I'm going to put someone else on the workshop hut because I have a lot of tasks. We're going to do Ingrid. All right, I'm going to see if I can make something with uh, mushrooms and cook. Oh, I don't have any fuel. There we go. Put it all the way up. 133%. All right, something's cooking. Let's go. It cooks so fast when the fire's all the way up. You got mushroom stew, baby. Let's go. Put one mushroom stew there. Eat one mushroom stew. I'm going to take that simple bow, and then we're going to work on the archery range, or practice on the archery range until this bow breaks. And then we'll have a brand new bow. 19 days survived, baby, let's go! We almost have our 19th villager, too. Range combat, level 16, baby. Level 17. Hey, the bow broke. We made it to level 17, though. All right, I'm gonna start placing these fences. And Amelia made it. I also want to place a little chieftain's hut. Or chieftain's house? Chief chieftain's hut? Chieftain's house right here. Right there. That's where it's going to go. Now we'll build all these fences around it. Oh yeah, I got to give our new villager a cottage. There you go, Amelia. You can have that cottage. And we'll put Jotun blood in here. Get one more. We'll go with Alva. All right, we'll want a gate right here. There we go. Oh, nice. There's a water thing right there by the gate. That's pretty cool. Give them a gate right there. 
Okay. All right. We got this little tiny gap right here. I guess we'll put one more fence down just to close it. And we're good. Oh man, we are doing good. You got a fence around the whole place. Oh, these patrol markers are built so we can get them patrolling these areas so my villagers don't feel defenseless. Patrol Route 1. There we go. Add a patrol point. Patrol Marker 2. Confirm. Add a patrol point. Patrol Marker 3. Confirm. And then save that. There we go. Warehouse storages are full. That's good. Is that for the firewood? For the winter? Oh, yeah. And sticks. Oh, that's so good. Some more firewood storage. Might as well. Man, I wish this uh, workshop wasn't in the way of me putting stuff here. I think that's crazy. Might just need to build a whole nother warehouse. But right now, that's what we got. That's not too bad. We got a bunch of villagers. So these cottages, chieftains, hut, all this stuff should be built in no time. I am going to go get some thatch, because we need a bunch for the beds. Speaking of beds, I need to put two more beds in this cottage. All right. Let's go get a bunch of thatch and maybe some Jotun blood. Storm's coming. All right, got some thatch. Let's bring it back. We got 44 seconds until our villagers here. And I need a couple more Jotun blood for another one. Some thatch in these beds. And go get some Jotun blood. Actually, Alva's here. So we can assign her to this house real quick so she's not homeless also. Let's go look to see if there's any food. Um, I guess let's see if we can cook this garlic. All right, cook that. We've already got food right here, but I wanted to learn some new recipes. All right, eat that meat stew. We learned the mushroom stew. So we'll add that as a task. We're about to learn, hopefully, a garlic stew or something like that. And then we'll be able to add that as a task. Let's go. All right. All right. Eat this. Oh, it's garlic jam. Okay. Eat this garlic jam. Put the other one right here. All right. Let's go get some veggies and some Jotun blood. Oh, God. A Draugr field. I almost ran right into him. There's some Jotun blood. All right. I get four from that one? Let's go. All right, two more. Get all these mushrooms, because I'm going to need them for when winter comes. 20 days survived. All right. Give me some rope. Nice. All right. Got a bunch of stuff. We got to head back. Oh, man, a bunch of flax growing around here. That's nice. All right, put the veggies in here. Okay, that's good. Gotta add garlic jam as a task. There we go. All right, good to go. Let's see if we can build a leather worker on this side, like that. All right, let's figure out why these four villagers are unhappy. Finn is still super unhappy. All of these are good things except the small happiness decrease. I don't understand. Schedule balance. He's a night shadow. He's chill sensitive. Maybe that's why. Or maybe he just wants to be a forager or something. I mean, maybe I can make him a night forager. I don't know, man. Maybe I just need to get him some clothes. Oh, he's already got clothes. So he's good. Here, you don't have clothes. Take these. Here you go. 
Maybe I just take him off the hunter's hut and make him a forager because that's what he's good at. That's the only thing I can think of. I only have one forager anyway, so I can just take him off the hunter's hut. We'll put Alva on the hunter's hut so we still have someone hunting. Alva. All right, let's go put more Jotun blood in here. We'll go with Matilda. Now five of my villagers are unhappy. Everyone really seems good except Finn. And then this guy's got Soggy Discomfort, who's at Arn. So, but I mean, everyone else seems pretty decent. Nocturnal Resilience, so I can put him on the night shift. Oh, he's on the night shift, yeah. We're good. All right, go get some thatch for these beds. There you go. Can build that bed. All this thatch for those beds. All right, do I need more thatch? There you go, there you go. Looks like no. There we go, let's go, baby. We got 20 villagers in 20 days survived. All right, we need flax for some rope. And I wouldn't mind gathering some food too. Actually, I'm just gonna wait till this villager comes so I can put the Jotun blood in the Eye of Odin and then my inventory will be empty. That'll be good. All right, our villager's here, Matilda. Now we can give her a cottage and put more fuel in the Eye of Odin. Activate. We're going to go with Thorbjorn. We'll put Matilda in here. All right, let's go get some fibers and some food. I guess get these mushrooms. There's not much else. Some garlic. It's a wolf den right there. Oh yeah, look at all that. They're coming after me. All right, so much flax, so many mushrooms. 21 days survived, baby. 21 villagers. We get a villager each day. Oh, we have so many fibers. Let's make all this rope. There we go. Cabbage. Let's go. Oh, so much food. Yes. Might want to put a harvesting marker out here. There's so much. I'm going to get this Jotun blood, too. Got three of them, let's go. Got two from that one. Yeah, I'm putting a forging marker out here. All right, build that. Snag this garlic. I need a stone harvesting marker. I was thinking about putting one out here. Let's just put one out here. All right, well, we'll put it right here and hope there's more stones around. Because I saw a three. We'll put it right in the middle of these three. All right. Go harvest some stones. Aw, oh, get out of here, Smoker. You're getting hunted. Oh, I missed. See you, buddy. Shouldn't have done that. I don't have stamina, but you're about to be done. There you go. See ya. Put the veggies in the veggie basket. One of my villagers is homeless because he just arrived. There you go, you can go in here, Thorbjorn. Some rope in there, put some rope in there. So much firewood, so many sticks. What you need? You need bark? Man, you can find bark, don't worry. I'm gonna take this cooked food right here. And I'm going to eat it. I'm going to put this here Jotun blood 
in the uh, Eye of Odin, but I'm not going to activate it because I feel like we have too many villagers, way too many builders right now, and they're just eating food and stuff. That's all they're really doing is eating the food and... I mean, they're building stuff. The builders are right now, but later on, they're not going to have anything to build, and I'm going to have to put them on some other assignments and stuff. I might make some more warriors and stuff. Put some people on the archery thing. I don't have any people on the archery thing. Speaking of archery, I'm going to practice my archery. 18. Alright, level 20, baby. Let's go. 21, 21. 21, 21. 22. Alright, grab my arrows. Oh, Blood Moon. Okay, good timing to grab the arrows. Alright, we gotta find these guys. We got a big village, so they could attack from anywhere. My flimsy fence is under attack, but I don't know where. It's a Draugr, though. Oh, over here. I see it. My range is up from it, though. He blocked that. Oh, he blocked it. There you go. I got one. Where's where's the Draugr? Hey, get off my fence, buddy. Yeah. No, oh, get out of here. Ah! Whoop, see ya. All right, melee, is that what you want? Then melee you will get. Yeah, get out of here. Draugr, harvest you. It didn't say the blood moon was over. Whack this skeleton. Look out for any more enemies. Oh, my eye of Odin. That is the last thing I want to be under attack. See ya. Got him. Let's go. Hey, get out of here. There's a blood moon going on. I don't need you around. There they are. Ah, he got me. Ow. No, 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 I can't die. No, no, no. Get my warriors after him. Yeah, let's go. My warriors will go after you. Don't worry. Yeah, get them. Let's go, Blood Moon fades. I just needed my warriors to go after him. I couldn't handle him myself. Harvest all these guys. Grab that Jotun blood, but everything else I'll just leave on the ground. Nice. Take the arrows. All right. All right, I'm going to go heal up over here. Time to heal, baby. 22 days survived, baby. Let's go. All righty, guys. That's going to be it for this video. In the next playthrough, winter is coming, and I'm going to have to do my best to make sure my villagers are well-fed and don't freeze throughout the winter. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you don't want to miss out on more Ask a Gameplay on the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one.